Hands up if you don't know what Enterprise has to do with design technology. The word enterprise can have many meanings, but in the terms of when we're talking about design and technology, it is a word used to support the success of new startup businesses and ideas. Crowdfunding. Crowdfunding has become a lot more popular in recent years. It is used to finance startup businesses or people with new ideas. There are many internet sites that can support this. For example, Patreon, GoFundMe, most common site that you perhaps you need to know for the exam would be kickstarter.com. There are many success stories that have come out of Kickstarter, so it's definitely worth uh, researching further into. I have put a link in the description box below if you'd like to learn some more. But in my opinion, the most successful story that's come out of Kickstarter has to be the Pebbles uh, smartwatch. It broke all financial goals in raising approximately around $12 million. That's a lot of investors. And then from that, it was then resulted in Fitbit wanting a piece of this. So they actually bought out the Pebble smartwatch as their own and they pay a whopping $23 million. Online has changed the way we pitch and fund our new products. Traditionally going to the bank with a proposal and asking for a loan is now not just the only way. The idea around crowdfunding is an internet website where designers and entrepreneurs can explain and pitch their ideas and projects. This then allows people to decide if they would like to invest by contributing small amounts from many different investors they believe in the success of this said project. Visual marketing and retail. You probably already know that that's referring to social media, websites, email, and digital marketing. All of these have the potential to reach large audiences and promote a product. So successful influencers and content creators that have large followings on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, and so on, they are now being approached by new designers and companies. Hope that they will be able to launch or promote their product to their loyal followers. For example, the obvious influences are famous celebrities like Justin Bieber with over 420 million followers. But it is just as common to have non-celebrities with specialists in their own niche with large followers, like beauty, fashion and lifestyle and travel. With their social media platforms, they have the ability to target a wide audience in a quick amount of time. Whereas before it might have been advertised in a more traditional method like magazines or TV. This gives smaller companies more opportunity to reach an audience and attract more attention. Let's look at the cooperative. Cooperative is a business organisation owned by the people that it employs, people that buy the products and the people that perhaps use the services. They share not only just the profits of the company, but also the decision making of the future of where this company will go. There are many examples within the UK, for example, the co-op, John Lewis, Nationwide Bank, but let's look further into John Lewis. I have over 80,000 employees and partners, making it the country's largest cooperative. Each who get a say in the running of the business, as well as the shares of the profits, making them personally involved and invested in the success of this company. No wonder they're still going strong after 150 years of business. Okay, and lastly, let's look into fair trade. Fair trade is a trading partnership that ensures that the workers from the very beginning, so farmers from the plantations, organisations, get a fair wage and working condition. It's not a legal requirement to become part of fair trade, but it is becoming a lot more popular in recent years. This can be seen on a lot of products, for example, sugar, tea, bananas, chocolates, uh, coffee. By them showing this trademark, it ensures you as the buyer that you are getting ingredients sourced from plantations and farms that meet the fair trade standards regarding social, economic, environmental. So what does this really mean? Well, Ben and Jerry's are able to support farmers to make real improvements, not just to their practices, but able to adapt with the ever-changing climate. For example, one of the cocoa co-op that we work with in the Ivory Coast was able to build a new medical clinic, hire a nurse, install solar panels and purchase a water pump. If you want more information, see the link in the description. So as always, let's end the video with a question. What is a popular way now for brands, companies and new designers to get their ideas known to the world? I'd love to know your opinions, so make sure you drop them into the comments box below.
Make sure that you use examples. This way, when we're reading the comments, we can understand what you are really getting at. If you found value within this video, then make sure that you hit that subscribe button and like button to support my channel's growth and reach many well other needed students and teachers out there. See you in the next video where we start the second chapter on sustainability and the environment.